I love ice cream. I'm sure you guys love ice cream too. And I remember just after I had my baby and I couldn't really move my body, I would sit there <laughs> over bowls and bowls of ice cream because you know, I couldn't really work out. So I found my pleasure in the creamery, okay? But what I notice is if you can't move your body, your body will start to move you in ways that you might not enjoy, like so, obviously there's a lot of different ways that you can burn calories, and we're gonna explore just how to do so. So we're gonna find out what are the best exercises to burn these two scoops of ice cream. Let's go. A great way to burn calories is cardio, which is why we're gonna run some steps. And for those of you who prefer your surroundings rather than going to a gym, we're gonna do the stairs. Are you guys ready? Let's burn some calories. Whoa, this definitely wears you out. I've been doing these stairs nonstop for 10 minutes and I've burned 150 calories. Well, that's great, but I haven't even burned one scoop of ice cream yet. So let's pick up the pace. After running stairs for 20 minutes, I burned 280 calories, which is about one scoop of ice cream. In order to burn the full two scoops, I'd have to do this all over again. Hmm. <laughs> Let's find out what else besides running stairs will burn two full scoops of ice cream. Take it away, Amy. Thanks, Tiffany. Now this exercise, which is a bit more high intensity, is calisthenics. It's great if you're working out at home or don't have a lot of time. We're gonna be doing burpees, sit-ups, and rocket squats. I'm 30 minutes in and I have done hundreds of reps and have burned about 227 calories, which is just less than one scoop of ice cream. I'm working out my whole body, fusing both muscular and cardiovascular endurance. Let's pick up the pace. That was a lot of hard work. We just did an hour of calisthenics to burn off two scoops of ice cream. To burn off an entire pint, you'd have to do two and a half hours of non-stop calisthenics. Yikes, ah! Well, let's take a look at a way less intense version. Take it away, Shiva. Thanks, Amy. I'm going to walk to see how long it takes to burn the calories. I prefer walking because it's easier on the joints and it's a bit more scenic and you can wave to your neighbors. Let's do it. I've walked almost three miles and burned 280 calories. Isn't this fun? We're halfway there, yes. To bump up the intensity and to make it more fun, you can lift your knees and try to get it as high as you can, or you can lift your heels in the back. <sighs> Done. We just walked 5.6 miles in order to burn two scoops of ice cream. That's 560 calories. In order to burn a whole entire pint, it would take us walking 11 miles. That's like 200 football fields. I need some water. Back to you, Tiffany. Thanks, Shiva. Thanks, Amy. So now we know exactly how many calories it takes to burn off two scoops of vanilla ice cream, 560 calories from running stairs, to vigorous calisthenics, to strolling around the park. Either way, it is a lot of work. I also want you guys to remember that burning calories is subjective. It really depends on how much you weigh and what your body type is. And before you engage in these exercises, make sure you check with your doctor to find out which exercise is most appropriate for you. But just remember, 560 calories. The next time you're strolling down that freezer aisle, you might want to think about that. <laughs> Let me know which food that you want to cover next time. See you soon.